In starting a flash project, you'll more than likely see this opening window. Now you may see more than what I have here on the screen because I am working with a limited screen size. But anyway, we're going to start this project by opening up a creating a new flash file, ActionScript 3.0. Now flash contains many different panels or windows, color, swatches, align, transform, on and on. The ones that we are most interested in is this timeline and the one that contains the stage. Now there are others that we'll use and as we need those we'll bring those up. So in order to give me some more room I'm going to hide or collapse some of these panels. So I'm going to come over here to the upper right corner, click on the arrows to collapse the library and properties and the other one to collapse all of these other panels, giving me more room for the timeline and the stage. Also, I'm going to go ahead and change my magnification of my stage so that I can see everything as that window would adjust in size. So if this window were to get bigger or smaller, it would adjust automatically. All right. A couple other things with these panels. We can arrange these however we want and save that as a setting or we can use some presets. Currently the preset that I'm using for the workspace is the animator workspace. If you get your windows all messed up you want to return it back to the same starting point just go back and pick animator and it will reset those windows for you. So if we expand let's say the properties panel out and we move things around I had this and this was over here. Things become sort of a jumbled mess sometimes. Go back and just reset your windows to that animator. Now there are others and you can use whatever one you like, whatever one suits what you're doing best. Again, I'm going to be using the animator for the purpose of this exercise. Now the windows that we're going to be using are panels, timeline. This is where we're going to choreograph what we see on the stage. The stage is just that. It's what we see that is going to be displayed. So this large box here is our stage. Anything else is the workspace that we would normally not see. It's off stage. So we can have items off the stage that would not be seen in our published piece. Now we can control things regarding the stage using our properties. Now this is a dynamic properties panel. So as I click on things, it will change depending upon what I've selected. Right now I really don't have anything, but I do have a stage. If I select it, I'm getting properties of the stage. So we can control things like the playback rate in frames per second. We can control the size of that stage, and we can pick whatever we want. I'm going to leave mine at 550 by 400 pixels. I could change the stage color, and I'm going to leave mine at uh, white as well. All right, that concludes this tutorial on beginning a Flash project.